Impact. Impact. Nice. Try again. Nice. I was looking for some new iron sights and didn't want the same old, same old. I came across the Ultradyne C4 sighting system and I've never seen anything quite like these before. There are several things that set the Ultradyne sights apart from the rest, but the most notable to me is the front sight has a very small hole through the post that allows you to see the target and doesn't let the target get obstructed by the post like it does especially at longer distances. The rear sight has a classic rear peep style sight and when you look through the sight what you do is align the two circles while maintaining view of the target through the front sight post. The front sight posts are also changeable. The one that comes with the system is a 12 MOA and I can say it's astonishingly accurate. At 100 yards, a 12 inch circle fits perfectly inside the circle of the sight. You can easily swap it out from anything from an 8 MOA up to a 14 MOA and if you'd rather there is an A2 blade that is also available. Another thing that is really interesting is all the zeroing adjustments can be done on the front sight. Elevation can be adjusted by pushing down on the outer housing and rotating the post. I've never seen this before on iron sights, but windage is also adjustable on the front sight. When you adjust for windage, it moves the entire base. The post always remains centered in the housing, so you can completely adjust for zero, windage, and elevation on the front sight. You'll see why this is so important when you see how the rear sight works. The rear sight is also very interesting. It has adjustments as well, but these are for bullet drop and windage adjustments when shooting for distance, just like a scope. That's right, these precision iron sights are set up to take long distance shots with. There are elevation adjustments from 200 to 600 yards, so if you know your yardage, you can just dial it in. It's set up for M193 55 grain ammo, so as long as you don't stray too far from that, the drop should be pretty close. There are also indicator marks for windage. I think it is important to note that Ultradyne makes this set with a front sight that will attach to a Picatinny rail, so if you want a more standard setup, that is available. But of course, what I have is a little different. This is the C4 Dynamount front sight, and it mounts in conjunction with an Ultradyne muzzle brake, in this case the Mercury, but they do offer several different muzzle brakes. This gives you a few advantages over mounting to your rail. First off, for optimum accuracy, this mount is better because free float rails will shift a little whereas the barrel is significantly stiffer and it shouldn't shift if you're shooting on a barricade or something like that. Even with the bipod mounted to the rail and the gun sitting on it could cause the slightest shift that at long ranges will be multiplied throwing your shot off target. Second, mounting right behind the muzzle brake gives you the absolute longest possible sight radius your weapon is capable of, which always helps with accuracy as well. Ultradon does give you several mounting options. On the front of the sight, there's a tab that will fit into a slot in the back of the muzzle brake. The muzzle brake has these slots at straight and at 45 degrees on either side. So you can run these on a 45 degree setup as to not interfere with your primary optic if you so choose.
Now this mounting system has one obvious drawback for me and that is you can't attach a suppressor with this setup. But that's why they do make the front sight that will attach to a Picatinny rail. However, I feel if you're going for the optimal accuracy, this is the way to go. That's the basic rundown, now let's see how it performs. And since you can't drop a Ferrari engine in a Prius and expect great results, let's take a quick look at the gun and I know you're all going to ask anyway. This is actually the first AR I ever built for myself, probably close to 10 years ago. You'll notice that nice fat handguard from years gone by, but it is chambered in 5.56, has a 20 inch barrel, so we'll get the absolute most from the round and the sight radius. It had some of the greatest stuff from that era. It's a Rock River lower, has a Timney trigger, Yankee Hill barrel and handguard, and I think I added this Magpul PRS later after the original build. Plus, I stole the scope off of it several years ago for another gun and thought it would be really neat to see what these sights could do on it. It was a 1MOA gun with the scope. Obviously, you want to know how it did, so let's take a look at what we were able to get done with it. First, we just took it out to a 100 yard range and made sure the zero was pretty close, and the Ultradyne sights did very well. It is important to note that these sights are meant to be zeroed for 200 yards, which should be very close to the same zero at 50 yards. So essentially, if you don't always have access to longer ranges, if you check your sight zero at 50 yards, it should be pretty close to the same at 200 yards. These sights are meant for long distance shooting, so naturally I went to the best place in Alabama for long range, Rockford Gun Club. This place has the facility to let us see what these sights are really capable of. First, we just wanted to make sure we could get on at 200 and verify the zero, and that was no problem at all. 200 is a chip shop with these sights, and let me just say that I'm not a big iron sight shooter. In fact, I'm pretty sure that 200 yards is the longest successful shot I've ever made with an iron sight. So even at this point, I feel like the Ultradyne is money well spent. Now it's time to see how far we can go and see how accurate those elevation adjustments are. We actually just used PMC 55 grain, nothing too fancy for the test, and out to 300, the Ultradyne C4 was right on the money. Nice. Since the sight mounts to the muzzle brake, it is worth noting that this is an exceptional muzzle brake. It takes all the recoil out of the gun and doesn't give the gun any jump when shooting off a bipod like some brakes do. It just gives you a really nice smooth shot, allowing you to see where your bullet went. It does have a good bit of blast to it, but muzzle brakes are supposed to. You just may want to keep it in mind if you're shooting on a crowded range. Very smooth shot break though, maybe the smoothest I've ever felt. Impact. Impact? Nice. Try it again. Hit. Damn. In 
the right hand, 600 yards is very achievable. We were even able to stretch it out just past that by holding for the drop a bit. To me, this is completely mind-blowing. We are shooting an AR-15, chambered in 5.56, out to 600 yards accurately, and even out to 700 yards without a scope. I've never even shot an AR-15 chambered in 5.56 that far with a scope, so these sights have more than impressed me. They're not cheap, but they are way cheaper than a scope. And I think if you're looking for far better accuracy out of your iron sights, these are an exceptional option. It's also of note that all the machining, the mechanics, and adjustments on these are just exceptional. You can really see the quality and time spent in making these, and it's very evident in the attention to detail. If you're in the market for iron sights and looking for something with exceptional accuracy, the Ultradyne C4 setup is fantastic and far superior to anything else that I have seen available. Everyone who shot the Ultradyne C4 sights were blown away by the performance. They take a little getting used to as anything new does, but they far outperform anything else that I've had the opportunity to shoot. We're basically getting very close to magnified scope results from a set of iron sights. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. We've got some really big reviews on the way and you don't want to miss them. Be sure to check us out on social media. That way you can get a sneak peek of the stuff that's getting ready to be reviewed. If you like Alabama Arsenal, please consider going over to our Patreon page and help us out by giving a buck. Heck, it's a buck. You won't even miss it. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.